If you hear any noise in the background, like people are talking, just ignore it, please. That's not important for this video, because today I have to announce something tragic, something that has affected me and many other people in the world right now. And people are, people are grieving, people are hurting, people are feeling all many different types of emotions. And today I have to announce the unfortunate and tragic passing of a legend in the manga slash anime industry and that is akira toriyama he recently passed away due to an acute subdural hematoma i believe it is on march 1st and it was just announced by his company and i i'm speechless honestly i i don't know what to say i was laying in bed i was watching videos and in a friend of mine calls me and he tells me that Akira Toriyama passed away and immediately I had to get up out of my bed and go look at Twitter, go and look and see what, what people are saying and pretty much everyone is just saying the same thing, right? And it's that Dragon Ball as a series has touched many people in many different ways through their childhood up until into their adulthoods. The fact that it has been a part of so many people's lives through so many years, like three or four decades, something like that. The fact that it has impacted so many people's lives and has transcended just beyond being a manga series and being an anime series and eventually becoming a video game series, it became a part of pop culture and people everywhere all around the world wanted to know more about Dragon Ball. They wanted to watch more Dragon Ball, read more Dragon Ball, and make references to Dragon Ball. Whether it be just mentioning the character Goku, or Vegeta, or Gohan, or Piccolo, or Android 1718, or Android 16, or Yamcha, or Tien, or Krillin, or literally anyone. And people make references to like moves like the Kamehameha and like movies and TV shows and other video games and even in music and, and uh and uh, Tor Toriyama he was the man behind it all he wasn't just known for creating Dragon Ball he first made uh, another another manga series called Dr. Slump and he was responsible for doing the artwork for a lot of other series as well, like Dragon Quest, Chrono Trigger, and a game that I played back when I was very young and I recently kind of sort of rediscovered uh, was a game called Blue Dragon. He did the artwork for that game. And that game really touched me and, uh, and made me... Uh, it sparked an interest and love for JRPGs. And it was... If it wasn't for Toriyama doing the artwork... Who knows if that would have even happened. If if it wasn't for Toriyama for creating Dragon Ball, who knows where my channel would have been. Because recently I just hit a thousand subscribers and I'm incredibly thankful for that. And this video was going to be basically just celebrating the channel and thanking everyone for subscribing to the channel and reaching to a thousand subscribers because I'm so grateful for that. But now it is turned into this. And the reason why I'm mentioning it is because... Back before 2016, I was making videos just on whatever I wanted. I would just post random videos of just funny moments of me playing video games with my friends or just random clips of me playing some random game or whatever. But it wasn't until 2016 when I realized that I loved Dragon Ball and I wanted to talk more about Dragon Ball. And so I started making video episode reviews for the Dragon Ball Super manga or excuse me, the anime. I'm not going to cut this. Uh, started reviewing the anime on my channel in 2016-2017 and since then I just continue to keep doing more of that. I would talk about Dragon Ball whenever I have an opportunity. It led to me talking about other anime on the channel and I would eventually discover that I really enjoy the anime industry in general and it would lead me to watching another piece of media that I love and adore so much and that's One Piece. And even Oda himself, you know, this huge influential mangaka himself who was influenced by Akira Toriyama if it wasn't for Toriyama paving the way for the for the manga industry who knows if Oda would have even had made one piece Toriyama like just the fact that Toriyama was able to have such a pro prolific impact on 
the world through just creating stories that he enjoyed making and creating stories that he had fun writing creating these characters and, and these series and doing the artwork that he does the fact that he was just a simple guy and just and had a sense of humor and loved showing his sense of humor through his work I I'm, I'm just I'm hurting right now this has really affected me more than I thought it was going to and I think it's because I think for a lot of people including myself I just wasn't ever expecting this to ever come I honestly I was waiting for this to happen in like another 20 years honestly I thought this man was going to live on far longer than most people would but he was 68 years old and he is now gone and I'm hurt I'm sad I have been crying, crying a bit, as you can tell. I'm sort of starting to cry in the recording, and uh, I'm grieving over the loss of a legend who created a series and a franchise that has stuck with me since my childhood, and I will forever be thankful for what he has created. Thank you, Akira Toriyama, for you have created. Thank you for influencing so many people, including myself. And thank you for the smiles, the laughs, and the joy that we felt along the way. Thank you, and rest in peace.